Hello. Always. Hello. I should just get a big shirt that simply says muted, you know? And frankly, that might be a good thing. So we've got Gary's house, labeled, there's doors, 
I haven't got a clue what I'm going to put in it, but that's as such as it is. Okay, I'm looking at Cook Street today to see what we can do. This one, I believe I was putting pigs in, I think. And there's one across the way. I've got I'm going to put cows in. And honestly, one of the things I need to make for myself is a huge, either a sign or a listing um, on paper where I know what uh, foods we need. What foods are worth making shops out of. So yeah, that's one of the pieces I need just so that I can figure out how many of these shops I need. And let's get these up in here to begin with because then everything's out of the way. Let's start fresh, start clean, sort of. Do I have the precious box? I do, but there's not much space. So hopefully Poodle Pirate's doing well today. It is Thursday. Um, Thursdays are just yet another day. We've got scouts tonight. So our scout troop will be doing um, escape room puzzles, escape, escape room type puzzles. Oh, okay. And so um, rather than going out in the, in the bitter cold or actually going to a company that does escape rooms, we will be um, working with a boxed set of escape rooms that one of our scout leaders owns. He's bringing in enough for everybody to participate. And that will be nice and because the building can get kind of cold. It can be a little cold outside. Let's see, today's, oh, oops. I'm just gonna say, what is the feels like around here? Do I know? Do I know? Okay, so let's see. I'm just gonna throw in a convert. Mission point convert minus 26 C. Okay, so it feels like minus 14.8 Fahrenheit. It's cold. It's cold around here. But I mean, I crawl around about it and really I'm not the one who's going out in the cold. It's actually a fantastic Sherlock Fox that's going out in the cold. And I'm just being a wimp and staying in the basement. Yep, enjoy your lurk. No problem. And just remember that uh, Thursdays are yours if you want them. All right. Um, right, I was making a list. That's where I was going with this. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Be live. Let's go to references. References, new, text file. Okay, um, MC food. Box. Make the source visible. I have no idea how big it's going to be. Oh, but I need to make sure in the game that I don't get eaten. Okay, there we go. Something half decent of a view, maybe. Watch the sun come up, I guess. Okay, and tab. So I want. Where did I put that one? I love you, OBS. Okay. Where's the new squad properties? All right. So we're going to go with just a font and we'll make it bold for now. It's going to be not 256. That's dumb. 72. Sure. The font size, it's going to look really weird when we start typing. Um, let me see. Ooh. And I will move it down here. And we'll make the list a little smaller as we go. Eco's going to get in the way of that, but it's, it's there. It's it's there. We can change it up. So instead of this, we're going to go there. Now I can play with this. Properties. Okay, so we're going to have one for pies. We're going to have one for... Um, Suspicious stew, bust stews. There might be a couple different shops for that. Maybe two. Okay, and then we've got um, eight. 
Oops. Potatoes. And we've got breads, so like a bakery. And then um, what else should we put in there? Um, I'm going to have the, the pork pigs to the pork shop and the beef shop being separate. And then I've got the chicken cooker place, so why not get our own place? Pies, uh, sustews, baked potatoes, breads, pork, beef, chicken. Um, and then a drinks shop of some sort. Sure. If we think of more as we go, we can add more. And I'm going to change this font color, maybe. Do color, 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 color. Let's make it, um, I don't know, dark purple. Sure, because, because it shows. There we go. It's not perfect, but it, it shows. And that gives me a list to work with that we can turn on and off as we build our shops. Right, and then we'll move it on over and we'll get a geek out going. Just gets right in the way. Just references, references. All right. So geek out, two fantasy kung fu or wuxia films. I think we've seen this one recently. Um, we've got a whole bunch of, of like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and um, Kung Fu Dragon. Let's go. All right. In the meantime, let's get, get on building. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight shops, and I have built. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh! Five, six, seven, eight. We got eight shops. All right. Well, then I guess Cook Street's a little more on its way than I thought. If we can think of any other ones we need to add, then we can do so. And the sus food shops will probably be this double one here. I don't know really how many suspicious stews we have, I and mean, we could actually even do two or three of those types of shops. Oh, and I need more spruce. along and motoring. I was a little distractibility that ability. Distract uh words. Words. I was more distractible than usual. There. Words. Okay. Um which is kind of debatable because I'm always distractible. But um, I thought I was more so than usual this morning because I was having a hard time dragging my brain back to thinking about Minecraft. Um, just because I've got a room here in my, I call it my office, but it's not really. Um, but basically this room is supposed to be, you know, like sort of a combination office, craft room, Lego storage, me hiding from everything kind of place. Um, Fantastic Sherlock Fox uses the term hug room. But it's been the same way for, I don't know, how many years? Maybe two or three now? I mean, maybe I'm overshooting. Maybe the last time I rearranged it was a year ago. But it still feels like I didn't have an itch to do something else with it. Um, things making weird clicks as I type distracting me anyway and so with that that uh, itch I was thinking about how can I lay it out in here two oops one two three four five six seven eight 
two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, and that was what was getting me is, is that rather than uh, actually thinking about Minecraft. Two, three, four. Completely not productive. So I'm kind of winging it as we go. I think it's my mouse making weird noises. A lot of these buildings would be very much the same. Oh! Thank you very much, Gary. I appreciate it. I'm going to need to pull this back a little further, I think. Hearing the zombies underground is really throwing me. Not why I have to pull it back, but the hearing the zombies is throwing me. Hm. Yeah, something in my office is clicking and I don't know what it is, so I'm trying to ignore it, but it's not going very well. Day is going well. It's... Ugh. <laughs> We're not doing all that great on the cushions this morning. American Idol. Who watches American Idol anymore? I mean, okay, that's not true. Which geeks watch American Idol anymore? And honestly, if you do, more power to you. I just was not a American Idol kind of person. So, okay. Let's frame this one out. Yeah, this isn't, this is very cookie cutter. Street is terrible. It's really gonna need some um, Hello. terraforming work. I'm being so incredibly distractible this morning. Sometimes you just can't focus. This is gonna, going to be one of those long days, so what we may end up doing. We'll see how things go um, in this world and how much we get done, practicality-wise. I mean, there's always grindy stuff one can do, but if I can't get focused enough, we may end up having to also switch over to the modded world and see if I can muck around in there. I didn't have any plans to, but plans, schmans, you know? One, two, three, four. Hey, at least it's Minecraft. Could be worse. Last night I went and saw um, a musical. So in Canada we have a program a series called uh, Broadway Across Canada, and they bring basically, as you, as the name implies, they bring Broadway shows to various cities across Canada. Or should uh, let me correctly stage that um, they stage Broadway shows across Canada. Some of the members of the of the company are touring, and some of them are not. And um, last night's theme was Mean Girls. 
Um, at some point, I will listen to the some of the soundtrack again because it was a good show, a good soundtrack. As you know, the the lyrics were clear, the songs were catchy, that sort of thing, and they were about very, um, I well, okay, very uh, yeah, clear topics, I guess. I don't really know how else to put that, but it's one of those ones that I think I'm going to love hate for a very very long time. Um, topic was. Oh, the topic of Mean Girls, of course, is high school and Mean Girls and people being mean to one another. And right at the very, very beginning, they warn you in advance, sort of like the whole foreshadowing or spoiler alert. I think they actually might even have called it a spoiler alert. But they, um, they had a spoiler alert that, oh my goodness, you know, this we're telling you about this cautionary tale and um, this will help you not uh, get anybody hit by a bus. Yeah. But, um, although it didn't involve a bus, the reason I have a I'm going to hate it, even though I, it's well done so I should love it kind of response to it, is because um, they're telling you the usual mean, t mean kids type tale with the popular kid and the jocks and, you know, people having crushes on one another and so on. But aside from the fact that they placed it in junior year, so... I think that's roughly supposed to be grade 11-ish, because the person's about 16. Our main character is about 16. Um, that, other than that element of it, I actually have experienced enough of that. Being the, the kid on the outside. Um, one, is that one, two, three? Yeah. So, I experienced enough of it that they did it well enough, I hate it because I remember it, I guess you could say. Different year. Uh, mine wasn't high school. Well, if mine was elementary school. But in the in the um, intermission break, my mom and I were looking at each other and we're like, okay, so if the, this stage character was this person and this stage character was that person, my mom goes, yeah. And then, so let me guess, later in the play, they're going to have such and such happen and darn if it didn't happen exactly that way. We're like, hmm. So we both really liked it, but we both really hated it. <laughs> so I'm partway through, my mom turns to me and goes, Am I as ditzy as that mean girl's mom? I'm like, no. <laughs> Never have been. But, it's good that you asked the question. One, two, three, four. That's one of our things that we do, um, she and I, about once every two months or so, I guess. They have another show coming. I think the next one up, if I remember correctly, is Hairspray. Um, when, but it's tough to tell because we're seeing ads for different shows in different cities across the country, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm correct or not there. Um, because I know in Canada, Vancouver is getting um, Disney's Frozen. And I think in the summer, my city's supposed to be getting um, The Lion King. Disney's The Lion King, and uh, one, two, three, four. And I can't remember what Ottawa was supposed to be getting out east. But the uh, point to that whole bit was just that you can never really tell because sometimes they'll have a show and it's like, oh, that's really exciting, and then it's not here. Um, they do the same thing to Edmonton, I'm afraid. It's uh, for Edmonton and Alberta. They have the same challenge where they... We have twin twin theaters in Alberta. So yes, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. But we have twin theaters and the result is that um, sometimes they'll bring the same shows and they'll just go to both of them. Other times it'll go to one or the other. Oh, well, thank you very much. I, I'm glad you like it, Hickory. I noticed you popped in right at the end yesterday, and just we were about to disappear, and um, I wasn't able to tour you through. But it's pretty basic. I haven't actually got much inside, aside from the blue bed that you saw in the VOD. I was going to do a little bit of decoration, just throw a couple doors on after camera and stuff, and got distracted by Lord Snarl's video after we had raided in, and uh, forgot to put doors on, so <laughs> I had to do that today. But I ended up lo um, logging out because... 
I was getting distracted enough that what was attracting my attention was repeatedly having hearing arrow sounds or zombies or whatever and going, I don't see this in Snarl's video. What, what's going on here? And realizing suddenly, oh, wait a minute, dummy, that's you. you no, know, meaning me. You have some really nice color choices. It stands out really well. I like that. And I mean, hey, it's, it's Foxbury. Everybody here has a permit to do what they want. Well, for the most part. The limits would be if it's not physically possible. That's that's where I draw the line. If it's not possible, you can't do it. Pretty lame and basic. Okay, so what do we got? I'm gonna use weird flooring again. Um, some will get gravel inside. Let's see, do we have? Might put a one or two with brick inside, maybe. We'll see about that. Bubble deep slate. Yeah, half decent floors for that. Okay. But they're too cheap to do it as deep slate. Cobbled up, so maybe we have to do bricks? They look like bigger pieces, right? Actually, let's go with the cobbled deep slate because costs and all that, you wouldn't be able to afford the big pieces. So. And I can't see what else I want. Cool, sure. Sounds good. What are they looking for? I can't recall what I was looking for, so we'll figure it out. Flooring, pillars, yeah. We're gonna need a lot of roofing for these, so let's I'm gonna get the pillars in and then we'll keep going. So the idea with this section, I'm calling it Cook Street. Because quite literally, oops, two, three, four, um, quite literally, it'd be something where the people who are in these little buildings would be making, you know, basic cooked up advance, excess quantities of whatever foods they want to sell. And then they just have their shingle out and they sell it. But for just like in Minecraft, you couldn't get an entire meal all in one spot, which is why we're okay at different shops. So if you wanted to have a full meal, and let's say you wanted to have a stew with bread, it was your day, Oop, was what you wanted for the day, then you'd have to go to the stew shop and buy a bowl of stew. Probably bring your own bowl, because they're that's a medieval thing. They didn't have bowls and stuff for you. Um, and then you'd often then you have to wander off to the bakery and get yourself a loaf of bread to go with your stew meal. And if you wanted a drink, you either ended up at a tavern or alehouse afterwards. Or you would end up having to go somewhere where you could buy yourself a drink. Now, being Minecraft, um, two things are going to happen. One, we're not going to actually be selling. It'll just be there. And two is that um, in Minecraft, telling you to bring your own tankard is not exactly effective. It, it just doesn't work. So, yeah, we'll do with that. And stews and things come in bowls, right? So, I mean, maybe if I was to have a cost, it'd be like, give me your empty bowl and I'll give you a full one. That's about it. And I don't really want bowls, to be honest with you. It's a big mess to keep collecting bowls. Okay. So these ones. Now, the reasons we've got a big slot at the front is just that's going to be double wide windows. Two, three, four. Yeah, well, that's the kind of the medieval thing would have been takeaway. Um, apparently, it wasn't until much, much later, and I'll have to look up a little more specifically roughly when, but hundreds of years later, before the idea of eat-in restaurants were even a thing. Um, so you would actually go and grab your food and then either stand in the street or just keep on moving and find yourself somewhere else to eat. Because the idea of sitting and eating there wasn't a thing. I don't know whether or not taverns and alehouses would actually be um, supportive of people bringing in their own food. That's one that I wasn't able to discover. Um, but you'd also have, in theory, you'd have hawkers running up and down the streets with their their wares on trays and stuff and trying to sell it before it got cold. Okay, this one... So 
So what I'm hoping to do as far as staffing these goes um, is to have villagers of the appropriate appropriate occupation, I guess, to staff the buildings. I'm not going to fuss about that too early on. That's sort of a when we're ready to start moving villagers out into out into the world. Uh, yeah, then they can come and fill these spots. They'd be dingy, dark, smelly, smoky, because people just didn't really think a whole lot about having things elsewhere. Okay, that's a double, that'd be a single. Just about done these ones. Three, four, five. Why is this one taller? Oh, because of the step up. Okay. Round one, two, three. One, two, three. It is too tall. Where is it? No, it's not. I keep wanting to count this bottom layer. One, two, but I wanted it three inside. So we're going to do a little bit of shopping when we're when we're all done um, building these places because a couple of the spots will not have people that are um, actually trained up to make those things. Um, also, I don't have a brewing setup, as in like a functional one, and this is really just for image, anyways, rather than functionality. So um, we'll just probably end up going to the district and going, "Hey, this drink looks good." This looks good. And just buying a bunch of stuff to fill it in. Because brewing is one of those things I don't particularly have much of a desire to get into. One of the things I'll be putting up pretty soon is I'm starting to spitball ideas for a new season. Now, we still have until probably mid to late June, at least, before there's going to be any remote thoughts on, or should there be any seriousness on the end of this season. So for those of you that are all uh, reset sensitive, I did not actually say there's a reset per se. Um, it won't be happening till probably June-ish. It's my guess. And that's still, once again, I repeat, it's a guess. Um, however, I'm just trying to come up with more ideas so that I have the ability to pick one at the time. And so for now, um, what I'll probably be doing is just putting up... I... Oh, oops. But I'll probably just be putting up um, a question in, or two in Discord as things occur to me. To say, hey, can you help me come up with a list of X? So for example, the first one that I'm probably going to be putting in there, that's a real one. Those are real too. Guys, hurry up. Okay. You can burn. Zombies, you can burn. Okay. And then I'll take care of the oh, way. There's um First list I'm going to be putting up is just asking for when somebody says magic tricks, what do you think of? Or magic tricks or illusions, what do you think of? Um, one of the side projects that keeps popping in my head over and over and over and over again was when I was doing a creative world of various magic illusions, and I can't seem to get that out of my head. So I'm wondering about doing another uh, semi-themeless season kind of like I did last year, where um, last year I just had a theme that I built a whole bunch of, of very disconnected, not related, uh, or not directly related builds. 
that sort of conform to that theme. Last year's theme was mystery authors and mystery books. So first of those types of lists would be um, would be magic and magic tricks. Not that there's a, so as I said, there's no guarantee I'm going to go with that theme, but I'm just sort of spitballing ideas at this point so that I can think about stuff and have things to choose from. Part of the problem I found this season is that the overall theme works, but when I break it down into smaller pieces, sometimes they just weren't catching my fire. So I want to start early on just this, the idea of generation. All right, so that's a little bit better by not having plants in the street. If I can get my head around what closer to what it may, may look like for a street. Let's see, flatten this bit out straight across. Please take out this level. They were flatter there. Oops. And there will be repairs along the way, of course. I'd like to work with the levels. Some of them make sense to do, and some of them did not. They just rose and then came back down again while the street's still going on. So this one might end up actually getting raised because almost all these other buildings are raised. All right. So we've got that. I'm just going, I'm going to start throwing in interiors. They're all going to start with gravel just because for now. And part of just because is, once again, the, the idea is the, is the, image or impression. We're not here to be making focuses out of every building. Um, the main focuses were, in essence, the church building and the castle. The monastery and the castle are sort of the two big story focuses here. Um, but also that I need to go through the original novels or the companion book. I pull out some of the major locales. I've talked about that Six Ways to Tuesday. I haven't done it yet. So, yeah because the series is 20 books long, which means then that uh, I'd have an awful lot of rereading to do if I was doing it straight out of the novels. So it's a, it's a project, or a project, it's a project that's big enough that I've been sort of dodging it, I guess. These things are gonna need roofs for sure. And they're supposed to actually have a place for people to live. So some of these will need to be twice as tall. Actually, I think all of these are going to need to be twice as tall. But we're just going to have everybody live in the loft of their existing building. So they're all going to look like squat little bungalows. Yes, I am aware I have a cave underneath here. The closer we get to the cave and the sound gets louder, the, the more sort of on edge I become. Just don't like the idea of falling in. I mean, I guess the advantage of having zombies and zombie villagers below the uh, Cook Street. You can go, hey, you're hungry. You sound really hungry. Come buy something. See, your tummy's, gr your tummy's grumbling. As dumb as that sounded. Let's move this one. These will need stairs up as well. Everybody lives up top. I'm going to need more gravel. Okay. Can I do one more building? 
Yeah, probably. Did I get all the way to that end? I did. Wow, it's getting getting busy down there. I'm looking at all the mobs showing on my screen. Oh, this is the one I want to lift, isn't it? Okay, let's pull that torch out. We'll rescue this one. Do floor at the other end. Before I go tearing out and, and rebuilding some of these, I should probably just finish up with what I've got. So that there's more progress made on the ones that aren't getting moved. Yeah, it's it's tough. I love the, the cut file books. I definitely would read them again and again ad nauseum. Um, however, doing them for just a list sort of purpose is suboptimal. There are zombies right behind me because I can hear their like soother sucking type noises. <laughs> it's a little bit, tiny bit disconcerting. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that that doesn't make much sense. Let's fill these interiors. It said cobblestone for or cobbled deep slate, I think, for the floors. I think I'm enjoying this for now being gravel, um, but maybe Cobble Deep Slate might be decent for the roofing. I don't think I've done that yet. The cobbled look wouldn't work with this anyways because we've got so much cobblestone itself in here. I'm going to skip songs because I think it might be the song that's got the problem. Still hearing that weird click? Or was? Nope, still hearing it. There's something sideways. Hmm. Oh, it's up to deal, I guess. Alright, do I have any more gravel? Uh no. There. Ah. Yes. Okay. These ended up taller than I had intended. Do, but I still don't like this one. Time to raise it, I guess. Oops. It's not about terraforming everybody flat because flat doesn't always work. But we've got such a close to flat zone that the logic of it going up and down in the street this tight wouldn't have worked. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. 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 Welcome on in, Lord Snow. Welcome, welcome. Howdy. Good to see you. Thank you for bringing your crew by. Hello, Mama Bear. Hello. Good to see you too. Hello. Hello, you are here. We are working today on the Cook Street. 
And I am actually going to be raising up one of the shops that I didn't like how low it got. So that's where I'm going to start. Um, let's take this out. I don't have to move all of it, which is great. I'm also right on top of a bunch of... a very busy cave, it seems. Supplies. Recovery. You landed in the pool! Yay! On us! Sure. Like, it's a couple of blocks. Do I care? Probably. First land. Ah! Well, I guess that's helpful. Oh, what time is it? Too late. Late enough that I should be watching what I'm doing. For example, maybe I should have had a torch on there? That might have caused a lot less problem. Alright. Reaper, are you above or below? I think you're below. Making some progress. They got they're showing us gray boxes now. I guess that's a good thing. Well, thank you very much for the bits. I appreciate that, Mathis. Welcome in. Bits are, are always appreciated, never required. One of the things bits do is allow me to support the community in return, so I really appreciate that. Alrighty, where are we here? Let's dig out and move everything up by one. How are you doing today? Um, how am I doing? I think I'm starting to get my feet under me. Um, I woke up today thinking about rearranging my computer space. I do that basically once a year. Um, not that I actually rearrange it, but I start to recognize how much stuff is built up, like a storage room, or how much um, was it, how much extra storage space I could use. And uh, I think it's possibly a new year, new look kind of thing. It's not meant as a new, new change. I think it's it's a reaction to the fact that I don't necessarily handle well the um, de de Christmasing of the house. If that makes any sense. So when we, oops, when we're taking out the decorations um, after Christmas, sometimes the house feels bland. But then I also start seeing other things, saying, "Oh, hey, well, this stuff's all out of the way. Now I see that we could make use of the space in such and such a way." Like, for example. Um, one that's more common for a lot of people is once I see, you know, here we're done having guests and stuff, and I recognize, okay, in the deep of winter, just how dark it gets in our main sort of family sitting room, um, I go, well, you know, if we move couch A over here and, put, and chair B and C over here, you know, swap the sides or whatever, then we can, might get a little bit more light out of the window and we can actually make access or have appropriate access to the um, drawers on the sofa table or some such you know, like that kind of thing, which by the way, that is something I've been thinking about. Um, but those sorts of things, I think, sometimes send fantastic Sherlock Fox around the bend just because, um, well, for one, 90% of it needs his muscle. And for two, um, he's not a great one for having things shuffled around. I don't know if what the history is exactly, but I know that um, from having to move, uh, I shouldn't say frequently, but having, having to move a little bit because of family in the military when he was growing up, he has told many stories to me about in the past liking to have things in his bedroom just so, 
and uh, almost always placing things in the same spots when they went to a new deployment locale. And uh, and so I um, I get that, but then I've for all but maybe ten months of my life have lived in the exact same city and only ever moved around in houses. But rather than moving houses, my mom's reaction, our parents' reaction to, you know, the itch was, okay, well, if you rearrange everything in your room, then it'll make the old feel new again. You know? So it's like, it's like you've moved without really moving. So, yeah. That's, that's where a lot of this itch comes from. But I do it, I have it happen, like, as in the itch to, to make a change pops up at least annually but also of course Christmas does that thing where it's one of the seasons where you've got it someone who's received a good number of gifts and I need more places to put Lego for example we're going to do the street up right but I just want to make sure that I've got my sort of ducks in a row get that lined up nicely Well, it didn't, but that's perfect. I don't care. But it's making sure that there aren't ridiculous gaps between things. All right. Yeah, that's about reasonable for a street. We can just go a little bit more like this. Just oh, not like that. Just let the street kind of peter out on its own, I suppose. Go this way. About two out that way. Oh, I guess it does sort of match. Fine. Let's go that way and let it not match up. There we go. There's our street. I may change the center of some of these to be more disgusting. Um, I'm thinking things like puzzle and some muddy roots and so on and so forth. Would apply that it's got a bit more, um, I was going to say depth, but that's not going to work with fact that I'm pathing it but the depth to it would be um, just referencing the fact that like you have rainwater that runs through the street they're not paved so people are just walking wherever they they feel like and sometimes it wears out the street and sometimes it doesn't and right now I'm just drawing a street Hello. don't worry about it it's layout and accuracy a little bit later Uh, welcome on in, Max. Welcome, welcome. I wasn't sure if you were running today. Um, there was an implication that you might have been, but I wasn't sure because you've been having some interesting challenges welcome. with tech recently, so... Glad to see you. Welcome on in. Um, oh, hello <clears> there! <throat> hello there. Hello, Mr. Waldensbury. How are you doing welcome. today? Welcome. And how are you doing, Max? Now... For both Lord Snarl or Lord Snarl's crew um, and Max Money, I would like Hello to there. know what was the project of the day? What was the activity of the day? How did you spend your time on stream? We are working on Cook Street, um, starting to shape out the buildings a bit more. You can see just putting a basic marker in for the street. This one will probably peter out more here, I think. And then start running out this way, at least three wide, if not four or five. There we go. All right, and then we'll have probably some hanging sign type shingle sticking out as we go. This one. This. We need a window. Let's um, the window on this side. Then I can have stairs way up to the center. Okay, so we need to roof these puppies. A lot. So what I'm going to do, uh, we're going to change it up with the roofing as we go. Be like, or sort of tear out some of the roofing again as we go um, for things that need smokers and such. But at the moment, we're just going to just put roof on it. After all the crazies from the weekend, you figure it's because of the super cold and power fluctu fluctuations. So, um, did you end up with a new year, new look, Max? Or or um, have we returned to the very comfortable and very appealing 
layouts. Um, I could split hairs just for kicks and, and say that uh, nobody let Poppins in. I don't see a Poppins anywhere here. There is no Poppins whatsoever. Must be a figment of Gary's imagination. I do see, you know, plenty of names like Max and Fantastic Shock Fox and Emperor Waldensbury, but I don't see any Max. Or Max, I don't see any Poppins. There you go. All right, now as much as the ads do stink, um, I only let them run 30 seconds and that'll give us 10 minutes of pre-roll for any stragglers that happen to have gotten left behind and decide to join us at that point. So, yeah, it's pre-roll avoidance. You did miss the commercial warning. Hmm. Well, you know, I may have to pick your brain on that because your commercial warning and mine are completely different and I like yours. So yeah, I'm gonna have to pick your brains. Um, what do I want? Deep Slate, what do we have? You know, I kind of wish I could make stairs out of the chiseled look. That'd be kind of fun. Gary, I like your roof. I might have to copy that. Well, good. Good. Normal is, normal is comfortable. Comfortable is good. Let's see. Okay, that was... We've got... I'm looking at the roofs here. So we've got a dark one over to the side, and that would be... I think that was Blackstone. And then we've got some dark gray ones that are deep slate. And we've got some dark oak ones. I'm thinking we're going to go with the deep slate because um, even though it's Cook Shack, they're doing enough cooking. Jen! Stretch! Hello! <laughs> Yay! Welcome in, Jen! Good to see you, and I could definitely use that. So what do we got? We've got a stretch. We've got a hydrate for everybody. Everybody, everybody hydrate and then sit up straight shoulders back take a deep breath or two yes we can always use that i'm just gonna bottoms up the water bottle i've got coffee that i'm using with impunity but water is one of those things that i should have more of i need a new filter gross I use one of the filtered bottles, so up inside the straw it's really thick because it's got a carbon filter in there. And uh, I have not um, replaced that in a while. So it probably should use it, but the water underneath it definitely needs it. I was wondering how much it tasted different. And there isn't much difference between that and what was coming through the straw, so that suggests that the filter needs changing. Okay, so we're going to go with probably cobbled deep slate stairs then, I suppose. Let's see. What have I got unlocked? That would look any good as a roof. Okay, we'll go deep slate brick stairs because. Yeah, because. Because polished deep slate, I think, is something that the people there wouldn't be able to afford. So. Let's see if I can find those deep slate brick stairs. Okay, what do I have else? Do I have any more already going? Those deep slate tile on some of them, sure. Why not? That'll give the houses some differentiation. Oh yeah, we have filters in our cupboard. <laughs> uh, um, when Fan Fantastic Sherlock Fox, we have an ad. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. You can kind of see it in the corner, which is not quite what I wanted. Max, I'm going to have to pick your brain on this for a change. Um, because Tom tried to help me out, but it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of difference. Okay, this one. Put that. Okay. Close. Nope. Still, still purple. Still purple. Still the wrong color. Anyhow. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll deal with it later. But the instructions, as I, I followed them exactly to, to the letter of what Tom was saying, and they still don't seem to quite work the way I want. So I need to pick people's brains who actually have it working. Wait. 
I will be honest, I'm going to hate this district until it's done. Simply because... Did I miss one? Yeah, I missed one. Okay. Um, simply because of it being over top of that stupid cave below. The very, very busy cave below. And the back of this one will definitely be puzzle and such. Because that's going to be our pig pen. Geek Out is Disney live action. One character from the High School Musical films. Ooh. I didn't watch those. I, I talk about musicals, but I did not watch those. I remember when Fantastic Sherlock Fox and I went to the Disney parks. There will be, yes. Yes. It'll be back here. Mud or Podzol or a mix thereof. Probably some dark muddy roots or something. Um, but f dummy. Um, but I did not actually watch the High School Music. We went to uh, Disney World on a trip, and I can't. I think it was one where I met up met up with Fox after one of his business trips. Um, hmm, pardon me. And with his. I can remember properly that would help so yeah met up with him after one of his business trips and uh in the hollywood studios section of disney world they were having a live show of high school musical based on a musical of like it was one of those show turned into a musical turned into a show kind of thing it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me that they did that but you know and I don't like this. Okay, I'm going to change this up. I'm going to give it one more row. I think in this case I'm going to show that part for a change. Come on. Um, these. We'll see someone coming through the town and it's like, who's that? Well, he's a king. How do you know? Because he hasn't got mud all over him. And there's your Python reference for today. Let's see. How does that look? I can actually see the cross beams for a change, so I'm going with it. All right. Oops. There will not be cross beams above. Can't seem to think they. One, two. Let's get these roofings put on. It's going to take a bit to do all of them. Some of these might actually have a stove going right up through the middle of the building as opposed to on an end for a change. Less roof ripouts, but also slightly more realistic. Now we're going to need a whole ton of slabs to flatten off the top of the building. Oh, I wish I could place these faster. Oh, 
<laughs> That's less than optimal. Uh, come on. All right. Come on. I'm place faster and it doesn't place. Hello. We have a really strange tropical feel song. We're, we're getting like DC in that we're accidentally getting like a Cuban twist on it. Nothing wrong with that, but not quite where I was at. Uh, song's almost over though, so I'm not going to worry about it. That's what happens when you get the uh, curated for you list. We have the Tropical Feels channel. All the feels. Ah! Oops. Anything we dropped. We can get rid of this one out of the roof. Go. Oh. And we'll drop down. There. Everybody's underground today. Goodness gracious. Okay, and that one will probably have one window in the top. What I've got. One, two. I think we only need two blocks high to sleep, so I think we're okay. Which means I need flooring. What have we got? We go spruce on everything, but I think it's a bit much. We might have to though, because I don't have... What to my light? Okay, that's for the piggies. For now, um, coarse dirt. Do. Not coarse dirt, that's regular dirt. Okay. This one, that one, this one. Go dump some stuff over here. I'm hearing weird noises, so our vacuum cleaner is clearly caught on something upstairs. Sounds like it's dragging stuff around. Hmm, Lord Snarl emerges out of the fog. Welcome back. Hopefully the dogs got stretched. Alright, where are we here? So I'm finding some oak slabs. And I have more oak stuffs. I can make that. Oh, huh. Eh. I did not actually pick up the stairs. That would be, you know, useful. Let's put that one away because it's a door. So we can go up there. So we can go there. Let's sleep. Too cold out there for the dogs. Ah, did they go out and do their thing and be done and want to come right back in? Or did you have problems getting them to do much of anything? We'll go with that. Uh, fake it. <laughs> so we're starting to get our houses. I didn't bring stairs, did I? Um... Oak stairs actually would work. I just want to put them all away. There we go. <laughs> wow. Bell flies badly. Bell flies badly. Okay. Let's see how tall this building is. If I was putting oh, yeah. you're not sleeping in much of the building, so we'll go like this. I'm gonna leave a center spot so we can stick a big stove pipe up through the middle. Okay. 
So, um, what is cold for the dogs today? That, that's a dumb question, but, um, what do they decide that they don't like for cold? Let's go this way, that way. This one up. People will live in the loft up top, and that's about all they get. Is the front of the house? Yes. There. Uh, they don't get one on the back. Sure. Because, because. So we're going to be relying fairly heavily on a bunch of trap doors as well. And regular doors, of course. But that... They'll have trap doors in here because those will come down as though they are the not only the window coverings but also the um, countertops. Yes, some of the countertops for people to sell and display their wares. Which, of course, we don't actually have placeable items here. But if we did, we would be doing it that way. Okay. Piggy Podzel, sure. One, two. Three, four, five. Why am I even counting that? Just fill it in. Take it a poke. Okay. Your dogs are spoiled. <laughs> well, I don't know about spoiled, per se. Okay, so we've got to figure out how to get around. I guess we'll just go up this side, maybe? Can I actually get going up the side this time? Nope, too far. I mean, in all honesty, our dog was fairly spoiled too for a while. He's huge. Or was huge, but he, uh... Yeah, he had his own little place. His own spot. Like, I just built that. I don't know. Oh, did I not? Mm. That would be less than optimal. I'm not sick here. Uh, seven. Okay, we're fine for now. We're gonna be troubled later. That's okay. This one. We can get up. This one feels smaller. What did I do different? It is smaller. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the rest are five by five. Aha! Okay. One, two, three, four, yeah. Okay, um... Okay, fine. We're gonna go this to... Neon, how are you doing? Welcome. Good to see you. Very, very... Always pleased to have you. Yes. Wow. Brain she no worky. reason I don't like having the, um, the stairs across the front of the building is simply because um, people would live above the shop, which is fine, but then you don't really want your living quarters visible to everybody else. So we're just going to have everybody live up top. Two, three. And really, I should be making these lower to be non-spawnable, non but um, I'm not because I want to be able to put beds up here and not have them look ridiculously floaty. OK, 
Okay, let's rinse and repeat what we did on the other side and make these extra tall. Get the roof on here. Because we are half past the top of the hour, which means I am pokey and late. Back from lunch and here to listen and watch. Well, <laughs> which is it? I'm being fussy about things that don't really actually matter. So stuff's looking a little jankier than it probably should. Now I'm asking myself, how did that house get taller? But it's not actually taller. Um, let's go this one. EJGQ. Um, hello. Yes, hello. Good to see you, I think. I think, I think, I think. Just want to say hello to those that uh, I've not seen. Right, I just I met an Elijah just the other day, and I would and uh, pleased to meet more. Always pleased to meet more, but it just made me kind of wonder if it was similar name, similar name, different person, or or different name, same person. So yeah. Anyhow, um, pleased to meet you. Always good to meet a new face. And the same question as usual: um, What was it that caught your attention and brought you in? I'm always willing to learn what works and what doesn't and what people what people like and what people don't. Welcome on in, Silver Unicorn. Good to see you. Have you been lurking and building? I have a these days I have a 50-50 chance when I get on stream for the morning, whether it's gonna be actually maybe correct that, about a 30%, 33% chance, whether it's going to be Silver Unicorn or Mama Bear or whether I'm alone. Used to be JBT almost all the time, but these days it's Silver Unicorn or Mama Bear, which is awesome. They're all awesome people, regardless. But um, this seems to be funny. I, I go, oh no, I'm here by myself, and miss that somebody's come online because I just wear mental blinders that way. And next thing I know, um, I'm sleeping, or I'm not. I'm not sleeping. I mean, somebody else is sleeping, and, and I don't have to worry about phantoms. And it's really kind of. Kind of cool. New? New Discord channel? I need to update that message. It's there. It's no longer new. Okay, yeah, just that little bit of variety by having this one be the tile and this one be the brick, I think is, is helping the fact that this street is very cookie cutter. And we still need to get um, all of the slabs for the top. Let's go to the next. Next. We'll get a roof on this one, and then we'll worry a little bit more about the flooring. So you'll see weird text in the corner. It's all dark. Um, that's the list, as far as I can think of at the moment, of what sorts of foods would be interesting to have. <laughs> I wasn't trying to poke somebody sleeping. It's kind of funny. Um, but that's the list of foods as far as I can think of that would actually be something cookable that one might actually want in the shopping district. I mean, yes, you can get, you know, golden carrots or something, but I'm not necessarily sure that would be um, a shop that would seem to fit here. Okay, I see. That makes sense, little part. Well, at least you're in a safe place. Don't die in Minecraft. Thank heavens it's not December. I am terrible with the whole dying in Minecraft business. Um, 
you can see on the screen that I had one evening where I had 17 deaths because we were doing an event. Um, but beyond that, the, the other ones are all me. All me. So, yeah. And I'm, and I'm a chicken to boot. So that, that doesn't help. Uh, this one here. Did I run out? Really? Okay, fine. The so 30 for the other end of this one built. 17 deaths since your first day on the server. No, that was my first day with um, hanging out with the Zerks. We... <laughs> it, they called it a community event, and basically it was come get your head chopped off. But we it was a sort of free-for-all. We all brought our weapons and we're chopping heads off. I started doing really badly, fairly quickly. So um, it just became a bit of a laugh fest where we were all just like smacking at each other with anything we could possibly reach at that point. So yeah, I tried to decapitate CK grapes with a with a piece of wheat seeds. And yeah, no, as you can imagine, not very effective. So that's part of where I was getting some of them from. It was, it was in essence, ridiculous um, self-defense was where some of my deaths came from. Because if somebody comes up and starts trying to beat you to death with a feather, you're going to react, right? But no, they just wanted some heads for decoration and stuff. And I said, sure, why not? So we can come to your base. I'm like, oh, I can, where do you want to go? And so they set up, it wasn't just for me, it was for a bunch of people that asked that of. So they set up a community decapitation session and, uh, and we had a good bit of fun. It was great because I was trying out um, for the first time a mod that I picked, um, that was recommended to me by the Dynamites, um, where it the game automatically does a, a screenshot uh, very briefly before you died. And that screenshot, of course, is convenient because I got to see all kinds of funny faces and weird postures and and stuff out of the various player characters right before my character died and different people were laughing and there were heads all over the place and signs and yeah it was it was just a party and that's where the that's where a bunch of them came from that was last february i believe and then um yeah just me doing stupid stuff since then i think only once or twice have those been death by flying into something um but sadly, none of them are things like encounters with a warden or the dragon or... Actually, no, that's not true. I think I was in on dragon death once this season. So maybe that's where some of those came from. Because I don't think I was horribly, you know, more than 20 deaths my fault. Because I'm lacking talent, but that's not, not that much. What have we got? Any more bricks? I do need the slabs and the slabs. Thank you and we need more of everything. Okay, let's go with the tiles. Times two, why not? And then take these. We'll turn them into those times two. Oh, I still have that left. Okay, let's go with another set of tiles then. Why not? Tiles. Okay. The Zerk is not mean. Yeah, there was a lot of death from that from that adventure. And it was fun. It was fun. I mean now, it, when I s tell you guys about it that way, it sounds like I didn't try, right? Like, it sounds like I didn't put any effort into it. Um, I'm not here to dispute that. I probably didn't put in enough effort. Uh, because it was all, you know, take off your armor and smack people. But that said, um, I just, I'm not talented at that. I knew I was going to have lots of deaths. That's where a lot of those come from. Um, but I mean, a case in point, I was doing a solo world for a while in Bedrock, and the, that world, um, you guys get to see some of, but I know where I left it off. I was at, I think, 11 deaths. 
Yep, I will see you later. Have, have a good time, uh, DJ GQ, and um, you're welcome to come by anytime that you like. Right. So, anyhow, that's that's the kind of goofiness we get into on this server. It, it's a great server family. I'm very glad I found it. Prior to finding the, the uh, DC server family, um, I had never played on public servers because I was aware enough of those that had, and far too many videos of the chaos that goes on on public servers when people are allowed to prank each other heavily and stuff like that. I'm not that kind of person. Um, truth be told, <laughs> as if you guys hadn't figured it out by now, truth be told, I make a pretty good, well, half-decent hermit on the server. Which sounds like I'm non-participatory, and maybe, I guess. I hadn't really thought about that part now, so I just said it. But um, I actually find that some servers have far too much structure and far too much organization for my taste. It doesn't make me go away, but it does make me kind of go, okay, if you need me, call me. Otherwise, I'm out of here. I'll do my thing, you do yours. And that um, doesn't always work well in a community. But sometimes there's far too much fuss about society that I'm here to build. You know? I'm here to build and have fun. I'm not necessarily concerned with, um, unless people are being mean to each other, you know, rules and festivals and, and, um, mayorships and, you know, okay, this, these DC servers aren't the only ones that do that sort of thing. Never really been my cup of tea. So the way I look at it is I stay out from underfoot. Some years when I'm having a really bad mood about the whole thing, um, I've done things like try to blend in my portal or door such that I'm harder to find. So yeah, I'm just a jerk that way some days. Anyway. I kind of like organic growth on, on servers, um, but I recognize that that doesn't work for everybody, and that doesn't work for all servers either. There are some that do the, um, what do you call it, Field of Dreams concept in the idea that if you build it, they will come, and other people uh, don't feel comfortable building something until they know the designated zone to build in for a particular type of thing. So say, for example, a gaming district or a shopping district or whatever is, um, they don't feel comfortable building something until there's an appropriate district for it. Um, I get a kick out of, out of sometimes finding the ones where people have gone the opposite. Oh, oh, that's different. Okay. Never mind. Um, opposite style. Like, hey, I'm building a blah 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 game. Would you be interested in playing? Sure, where is it? Okay, here you go. Hey, can I build a second near you? Sure, and it develops into being a gaming district or it develops into being whatever. And that's that's more my thing. But that has not worked well in the past for a lot of people. I actually ticked off my kid my son and his friends at one point. Um, just because they were going a little chaotic um, all over the place. Not building things, but wanting to have shops and then getting annoyed that people weren't coming to their base for the shop. And I'm like, well, if you put them all in one spot, and they're like, but, but that's, now I have to build it again because they already built it. Well, that's not my fault. But, and so, you know, it works some cases and, and it fails in other cases to have pre-planning. This one needs to be files, I think. Go. There's Dell's rant for the day, right? 20 minutes. Okay. Um, yeah. So next season, I, it will probably be for me. Um, I'm talking next season now, as I said, because I want to, sh to brainstorm in advance so that I have a bunch of ideas to pick from. 
So rather than getting all fired up about one particular idea this early, um, I'm just trying to get in a bunch of ideas so I can say, oh, okay, well, if I did this theme, I could do you know, X or Y. But if I do this other theme, then I've got other plans. And, um, and one of the thoughts I had was a bit, um, I talked a little bit earlier about magic, as in magic tricks, and a lot of, a lot of circles involved in that. Um, but another option is to go super big, like ridiculous big, um, and do versions. Yes, this is Thursday, so it's a three hour day. You're, you were over halfway there, I think. We may actually get just about all of Cook Street done. We actually even dip our toes in some modded. We'll see. Um, oh, I was over there. What did I look for? I needed cobblestone, pardon me, and flooring. Um, so the, one of the other thoughts I'd had was go very, very large and do um, like an Alice in Wonderland theme where she's already huge, or not huge, things are already huge because she got shrunk tiny. Hello. She ate something or drank something or whatever. And that might be just a lark as well. I've never done a style like that before. Well, I mean, but here's the thing, Tim Dog. You could you could put it in the gaming district, or you know you could leave that for things like spleef and such. Um, and instead, you could put racetracks and so forth in you know like a, an animal theme district. Maybe it's something that's somewhat associated with I don't know. A limited theme zoo, like rideable animals or something. That sounds like, you know, the stables. But I mean, in our real life district, we actually have um, an area near us that is an internationally known show jumping facility. And just recently, they put in a, a soccer stadium in one of the sh old show jumping rings. Um, and then they built another, another uh, soccer pitch. So that part's, that part's still being renovated and stuff. But I mean, there's nothing else really there other than horse riding themed merchandise and um, horse facilities. So, you know, it doesn't have to be in the middle of a gaming district. I mean, um, some games, when they build them in a gaming district, are so large that the district gets to be kind of, I guess, outsized really quickly. So maybe the racetracks isn't is, you know, it, maybe it's a good thing to have it as a different spot, right? Uh, yeah, okay, that'll work. Hmm, actually, because this is sort of the middle-ish, I need to figure out how this one's gonna work. I don't know if that's gonna be stone or wood. The way the building is designed is a little different. Uh, up one, up one, yeah. Ooh. Come on. That doesn't look great. Because it's not. Because I missed one at the back. This, that one there, this one there, that one there. Okay. Weirdly offset, but I think that's gonna work. It happens when I split a building in half. So I mean, gaming districts and stuff are all fun, and shopping districts and things can be fun. You know, and they. Happy, happy, happy. Are you? Really? Okay. So they can be a lot of fun, right? Um, I'm just not one that's usually into planned zones. Town halls are cool. They have a purpose. That's fine. So 
So basically, I guess, aside from my personal play style preferring Java, um, just the way the community has grown, I like the people on both servers. Um, but the way the culture has developed with the two different servers, I'm more of a Java world that doesn't necessarily have quite as much structure. But then again, I hermit in both, so it's kind of irrelevant. That's not a, you know, I don't like it, I'm gonna go home type of thing, because that's just immature. All right, so um, we're getting closer to getting things done. I think we need some flooring in both, in a lot of these buildings. Oops. Yeah. Oh ho, that would be why part of it's all wrecked and messed up. Okay. So this half of the building isn't right because I did not put in the extra piece on here. Eh. Go for it. Did I? Uh-oh. I hope I didn't make this building even. I think I might have. That's that's not good news. How did I do that? Okay. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. I did. Okay, that explains why this pole looked weird. Let's see, what have we got? Yeah. That's why this guy got three and the other guy got two. We're supposed to have three. Okay, so I screwed up this side. That's okay. Now I know. myself into tangents? Want to get into a tangent? I don't think. Thinking is underrated. Lurk. Smart move. <laughs> Very smart move. All right. So let's see what we can do with this three hours. And a new topic, Geek Out, four shows in which a scientist is a recurring character. Alrighty. Um, sliders. That's one I haven't talked about in a while. Those sliders will work. I mean, depending on your definition, anything that involves um, a doctor could work. A la, say, you know, Doogie Howser or something like that, but I think... They're wanting more like a Walter White type of deal. Criminal Minds, Scientist? Okay. That's not one I would have put on there. Uh, CSI, though, I think would, would go for that one. Stargate, both of them, I believe, probably. One, two, three, four. Meaning, Stargate. Uh, actually, how many Stargates are there now? Oh, I see. Okay. I see, yeah. Spencer Reed. The very interesting nerd. Love them to pieces. Oh, uh, I guess if you're talking scientists, one could theoretically include um, Big Bang Theory on a technical point because though they're they're working on their their theses, etc. Um, they very quickly become Doctor Whoever. 
Okay. Um, yeah. That's a better half and half house. All right. I can get the roof on this one. Better. One rib series. Stargate. There's a lot of Stargate. So three main series, one web series, several movies. Quantum Leap. Yep. For sure. I mean, you can have any of your sci-fi shows like Star Trek that definitely has a scientist on it. Or two or three or, you know, however many you like. Um, what's it called? The submarine one, and I can't remember what the life of me. Anyway. Sequest. There we go. That's what I'm thinking of, the Sequest. All right, we're out again. Yeah. Sequest was um, submarine with the dolphin Darwin. So apparently, the the kid who was the dolphin's friend was a scientist, as was the uh, UK sounding lady. They had quite a lot of them. I mean, as in, not quite a lot of dolphins, quite a lot of scientists on that one. more of these ones and I should probably start putting floors in the bottom of some of these places yeah this is starting to look very cookie cutter so I'm really glad that it's a short street but it does make it easy to see where you need to go Up on the roof, right? Up on the roof. When this whole world starts getting you down. Mm hmm. I did it. Oops. Sometimes when I sing, I actually get myself, give myself a mental slap on the hand. Then, like, how dare you? But I do want to get back into playing guitar for fun. Um, sort of like, what do you call it? Uh, Self-accompanied karaoke. But you do that at home. It's kind of like uh, singing in the shower, which is not being wet. And fully clothed. It's fun. I'm just not... I used to think I was good at it. Let's put it that way. Uh, I no longer think that. But at one point I actually used to lead a choir when I was younger. Um, we weren't great, but I had enough musical training to make it work. And the advantage to leading a youth choir is if the kids suck, everybody still think it's, thinks it's cute. So you win. You win both ways. Well, it's, it's kind of fun, actually. Um, sometimes there's a, a song in my head, or I shouldn't say sometimes, always. There's some sort of song snippet or soundtrack piece or movie clip or, you know, on and on and on it goes in my head all the time. Like, all the time, all the time. I cannot turn it off. And um, that's part of why I wanted something other than instrumental available for music for the streams is because when it's just instrumental stuff, um, I find that I get far more of a distraction by the songs in the head 
and um, it begins ends up being a bit of like a how do I explain it? A sound overwhelm. That's probably the best way of putting it. So, hmm, what have I got in here? With tiles, sure. Um, so like a sensory overload, I guess you could say, just because it's like if you have two radio stations going on at once, and um, and the way that they don't always work together. So yeah, but. Music is one of those things that I really I enjoy. Grew up taking piano lessons. I eventually threw over the piano lessons for guitar lessons, but gave up the, the actual guitar lessons. Um, just timings in life and college and whatever didn't work out for that. And uh, know enough to be trouble. Let's put it that way. When it comes to not singing, my favorite type of music is uh, like to instrumentalized, I guess, would be um, like a Celtic kitchen party kind of thing, just because a lot of people have a lot of fun, you know, or uh, a folk jam, I guess. But the reason I like old folky music or old um, pop music is because compared to a lot of today's music, A, the continent isn't always romantic or um, relations topics. Um, and also the lyrics are 100% of the time, shouldn't say 100%, most of the time clear, and they have harmonies that are actually easy to follow. And for, for the most part, because it didn't exist, nobody was auto-tuned. So it was legit stuff. Um, but every once in a while, you know, I get music from people who are well and truly older than me, stuck in my head, and I can't get it out. Like, this morning's, this morning's music was uh, Neil Sedaka calendar girl. And I don't know why. <laughs> I haven't the foggiest idea why it, why my brain picked that. Who knows? Okay, new geek out. Thank you for rescuing me, Fantastic Sherlock Fox. Um, that was a bit of the sing a snippet that used to exist, Neon. And then I chickened out. So yeah. Part of it was, um, I heard people who really could sing, no names mentioned, but you guys know who in the community. And uh, and I figure all of them do it better than I do, including Deadcraft. I sometimes joke when people say they can't carry a tune, you know, or they can't carry a tune in a bucket. Um, I'd say the bucket can't carry, <laughs> can't carry the singer in some cases. How do I end up being... Oh, never mind. It's kind of relevant. I was going to say, how do I end up being one block short? And then I realized by the time I get the little holes punched for the windows, it's not going to matter. Um, where was I? Where was I? Where was I? I want... Not those. This time I want the birds. Then we're going to run around putting half slabs on and floors and all that, all that good stuff. And I have to make sure that I've got enough lighting outside the building. Otherwise, we're going to have spawns in between the buildings. Come get your dinner and get blown up by a creeper too. Two for one. Can't find a way to get hungry enough to eat your food? Well then, get chased down by a zombie from the alley. I don't think those would be very good selling points. Yeah, I, I do sing quite loud, too, most of the time. One of the things that you guys will never hear, at, because I've never actually recorded them, but um, is sometimes I spend time as, as just a, I say let my hair down, but I mean, as you can see, that's, in a literal sense, that's always the case. Um, but one of my favorite websites is a service called Sing Snap, just because they have a lot of karaoke stuff, or I've got a few playlists that I keep from um, YouTube, and often those are like show tunes and, and oldies, as in, yeah, oldies as in like 60s, 50s, 60s, and some 70s stuff. Uh, the occasional 80s or 90s piece, mostly 
not, just because a lot of those started getting into um, it all being about you know, shake your booty, and I was just not into that. Um, anyway, but that's the kind of stuff I keep, in, and so I occasionally will sit down with my recording system here that we use or for streaming, and just use that as the mic, and then record it a little bit, play it back just to make sure everything's you know all in tune and so on, and then delete. It never stays. Never stays. I wouldn't know what to do with myself if something actually came out of that. You know? Wouldn't know what to do with this. I wouldn't want to know what to do if, if Twitch became more than a hobby. Like, I would just be confused. Totally and utterly confused. Okay. One, two, three, and here's the corner for four. Half a building. Well, that's a good start. Though I will say, um, Neon's probably heard people like me more often than he may want to. Uh, the reason I say that is because I am that that parent who loves to embarrass their kids when we go when we go public camping. Um, and and uh, I will, you know try and encourage my kids to sing campfire songs at public campgrounds. I'm that parent. Sorry. <laughs> Most of the time, they won't. Every once in a while, we've got them to do it. But most of the time, they won't. And honestly, they might be smart by not doing it. I don't know. But there's been some funny stories that our scout group has had because of people um, doing that sort of thing in public. Not not embarrassing each other per se, but in in that they some people will sing in public. And uh, some of the funny stories we get out of that are things like um, people singing a fairly well known uh, scout song, and then you find out. By hearing echoes of it from some other campsite so that you can't see from where you are, uh, they'll yeah from, they'll they'll find out. Oh hey, there's you know we didn't even know there were other scouts here, and you start to, to meet people, which makes it sound like I'm an outgoing person. I am as long as it gets as long as I can do small talk, and then um, when I get peopled out and that well disappears. And I'm out of there. And yeah. I'm also the one that kind of goes, oh, isn't that nice? So I was in, oh, well, there's other scouts here. That not that nice? And left it at that. Well, it's funny. I'm not great at small talk. But there's some things that if you don't have to talk to the person for long, you can reuse the same stuff over and over and over ad nauseum with different people. I'm hitting the wrong buttons today. There we go, jump. Okay, did I get the flooring? Yes, I did. This one. Um, what do I want to do there? It'll be interesting because I don't know what to do with that one. Let's see. One. Three. Four. Okay. There's not a skill you ever developed. Now you don't want to. Can't blame you. My dad's annoying. He will talk to anybody and everybody. And he is terrible at small talk. As in the kind of stuff that you go, okay, I'm sick and tired of talking about this topic. 
very tired of talking about this topic, sir. Why are you still going on about it? You know, I'm pretty sure that over the course of the time that I've been streaming, I've done the exact same thing. And when I catch myself doing it, I feel so ridiculous. Greetings. Hey, Porkchop Wally, how are you doing? Long time no see? Must be Thursday. Just kidding. Sometimes people have uh, busy days in different ways. Okay, F7. Well, so far that's safe. All right. It's this one. Okay, so I can take out that one. Yeah, you caught me. I caught myself singing. And then I and then I made a comment on it, and uh, as usual, I'm at the point where I'm regretting that I said anything. Not because of anything anybody else has said. Just now, I'm like, oh yeah, um, I think I just went and embarrassed myself again. Move this door. But we are working in Foxbury, aka Fake Shrewsbury, um, inspired by the. Medieval uh, Brother Cadphile Chronicles, where the main focus there would be the castle and the monastery. We could do a lot of stuff that's medieval inspired with some historical reason to it, but then there's awful and often a lot of just wing it and go for it. So, yeah, we're in one of those just wing it and go for it projects today. Making ourselves a medieval uh, fast food takeaway district. And going on about nothing, which is kind of, that's really what uh, small talk is, going on about nothing. Or everything, depending on your point of view. I had a really, you guys don't need to know this, but I had a really bizarre dream at one point related to the whole singing thing. Um, and for some reason that I have no clue, you know, dreams do that to you, I was commissioned to put together just a clip, a clip video collection. Hey there, Zerk. Going on about nothing sense of your modus operandi? I don't know. You have some very interesting modus operandi. But, um... In this dream, I was commissioned to make a clip compilation of um, our various community members in their accidental breaking into song. So the, the Dynamites had some appearances in there, but they weren't um, because somebody had won a song or that something like that had happened and they were having a concert or something like that. It, they were appearing there because of little ones where... Either Dub or Mrs. D would just launch into the, into a little piece of song in the middle of something. And um, sadly, I appeared in it. DC was in it. A um, few other ones. And I don't know why I was commissioned to do that in my brain. I have no clue. But I remember being incredibly embarrassed because I got caught in the act of um, lurking in streams on the off chance there might be a clip for the compilation. Which is not something I do. Nor would I ever, I mean, it's fun to get the, the dynamites to sing you a song because he's good. They're good. Both of them sing really well. And it's fun to, to tease people like DC occasionally because, you know, every once in a while you end up with a bit of a gem, like um, the piece I'm trying to get him to do to update, update my uh, command, like the sound command in his stream, the cheesy days of the week song. But um, other than that, I'm not the kind of person that would normally try and make somebody else sing. Like, I never did that to Jesse B or anybody else who actually can. I've just, I, sometimes stuff happens and I wonder where the inspiration comes from. And that I would probably uh, figuratively die of embarrassment if I got caught in one of those. So that's part of what makes me wonder why on earth my brain was trying to make me think that 
I was doing that to other people. Uh, don't know. Okay, so now we've got to figure out what shops are for what and what you might need to make the various things. Actually, I guess I need to put these slabs on top. That would make more sense. Slab it up first. Um, I would agree. I just sometimes wish I had, like, could turn those into lucid dreams, where you actually have control. And I just tell them, no, this is this is not the kind of person I am when I'm awake, so I'm not going to do this in my sleep either. Years ago, when, when I used to go to folk festivals and stuff with my parents, um, I used to have funky dreams because I liked the notion of a jam session. But I had a funky dream where I was, um, what's the word? I actually was successfully jamming with some of the artists. I don't know why, but then I broke a guitar string. You know, like that, that sort of, you come to the critical moment and then something goes wrong. So that it never actually, dreams are weird. They don't usually end up with a happy ending. They're just kind of, they're there. Or if it's one that you go, oh, this is great. I'm really enjoying it. And then you wake up. It's like, no, I was just having fun with that. Oops, and I put the wrong ones on here. So, yeah. I actually have to, had that whole deja vu um, where I've streamed. I had a stream that was completely unremarkable. I mean, as in, huh, they're all remarkable, but pretty, pretty normal. Something like this sort of thing. Shooting the breeze, doing whatever. Then I woke up and actually had to do it again. And, and yet, the reality was different enough that um, I didn't quite get the deja vu feeling. It was just more like I felt like I had an extra day of streaming that week. I don't know. Crazy is as crazy does. And that is going to sound all wrong to certain parties, but um, it's not meant in a derogatory fashion. I gotta go get that one block because it's just not that it's bugging me, it's that I need it for top of that roof. I said something, Mama Bear, and then you said now that would be nice, and I have no clue what you were referring to. So I do apologize. Feel free to, to uh, reiterate. Uh, Geek Out Fantasy, name four named fantasy swords. All I can think of at the moment is um, Sting, which is Debatable is whether or not it's a sword. I mean, for a hobbit size it would be, but I don't know if it really would be intended to be. Excalibur! Oh yeah, it would be nice if we had control in our dreams, for sure. There's the odd time I have some, some control, but not very often. Okay, I got all of this row. I guess I could go up the other side, maybe? Oh, spider, go away. They're all underneath me anyways. Um, okay, slaps. Yep, that looks right. Glamdering is Gandalf's sword. Okay. Needle from Game of Thrones. And the Buster Sword from Final Fantasy. Okay. I think there are a bunch of named swords. Naming a sword is something I never really thought about. A lot of games will let you. I mean, like, I could name the one that we use in Minecraft. But it never really bothered. Drawing a blanket arrogant sword right now. Well, I guess part of my question is which one? So there was an Aragorn one that um, he got two different swords. One had been reformed from having been broken into a ton of pieces. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that one, but I know what you're saying, Fantastic Sherlock Fox, the Beowulf sword. Nope. 
think 10 is going to work. Did I get enough for a gap in the middle? One, two, B, one, two, three. Perfect. That'll work. All right. Ow. Yes, exactly. Okay. See, sometimes I remember con um, concepts, but not actual content. Okay, so we've got... For the most part, I'm done with the roofs, but I should leave that for now. I'm um, going to need... I'm bring stairs, not those kinds of stairs. Let's make sure the interiors all have ways up. Okay, that one. We're good. 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 I need to do the back to the cattle shed. Good. Okay, so we're good all interiors there. Now we need to decide what we're actually doing with them. So we have our list. The pies, stews, baked potatoes, breads, pork, beef, chicken, and drinks. Let's see, that should be eight, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I've got eight buildings. One's the double for stews. So then I guess we need random stuff to decorate the insides of other places. The random stuff being things such as, oh, that doesn't work. Um, so random stuff being such things as um, smokers, uh, furnaces, um, more of those because we're cooking lots and lots. And then potatoes and pumpkins and so on and so forth. All right. I'm not really up for the Cuban thing today, so give me a second, guys. This is really... I just need to switch a little bit, change the music. See if we can find. Find sound. Top 100. No, that wouldn't work. Hmm. K pop's not my thing. You nailed the swords for sure. No bad puns intended. Okay, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Making sure I didn't miss anything before I clear the conversation. Oops, this one. Four game show hosts. Alrighty. Let's try to find some other music I like. I don't think we need soothing relaxation music. It'll put everybody to sleep. This is neither cinematic nor fantasy. Um, let's see what's hiding on the electronic list today. Sure, why not? Steve Harvey and Pat Sajak and Bob Barker and Alex Trebek and Sandy Toxvig and Stephen Fry and Drew Carey and um, I think it's about it that I can think of. I mean, there's an awful lot of stars that did one-offs for um, Jeopardy. I mean, there's also a ton of different game shows. So, for example, we could have also talked to oh wow um a lot of british comedians have done i've been the host of, of panel type shows okay so we're back and we needed to fill oh hey who invited the building inspectors oh yellow's in trouble they're all trying to get into yellow's house <laughs> let's see yeah, we're all hanging out in Yellow's place. What did you do? Oh, and they're inspecting the pig shop, too. Huh. Okay. Sure. That's 
fine, I suppose. But let's put away the roofing, because I don't need that. Uh, let's do this one. Did I put it in there? I did. This, that, this one, and that one. I you know these, yes. There, I'm down a box. That's good. I like that. I'm going to need a ton of um, cattle and sheep to begin with, but we need item frames, and I don't have anyone who actually sells item frames. Hmm. Nope. Wrong one. That. Uh, no. I'm trying to figure out where all this stuff goes. Okay. Oak is under my feet. And what's your name from the weakest link? <laughs> yep. I mean, I guess you could also talk about, like, game shows really could also talk about panel shows, or not panels, um, contestant shows. So any of the, the hosts from, or judges from American Idol would work. Um, or from, say, wherever has talent. Those could all count as hosts as well. Oh, I could. I could. I'm just kind of curious what what on earth um, Yellow did to bring over the inspectors. Uh, interestingly enough, though, if you, if you take a look at Yellow's place, he's got the pigs. And they're hanging out there. And this one actually I was half fighting for the pork shop, and he's over there. So maybe there's an issue with the pork. Maybe those pigs are trouble. Okay, let's just get out of here. So for one of them to do chicken, I will be moving this. And that has to be one of the five by five buildings because it wouldn't fit anywhere else. Two, three, four. Yeah, and then five would be out here. And actually, this this is too long anyway, so I have to figure out how to make it shorter. But in the meantime, what else have we got in here? Um, stew place might look like fun to have a cauldron. I mean, I always need those. Hmm. Barrels are fun because I'm going to need farmers. So let's go hide one of those in the walls or something. Uh, what else have we got? Let's make a few things. So... We're going to need smokers. I'm three, I think. No, two. Two, because the lava place is already cooking. We heard Dawson, the OG family feud. Ooh, yes. Mean Rayburn. Match game. Oh, I haven't heard that one in ages. And quite a lot of the... Um, what do you call them? The um, game show hosts never really became, <clears throat> pardon me, celebrities on their own. Alex Trebek is kind of a notable exception to that. Okay, so that's... I keep looking in here like I'm going to suddenly see more. Okay, so I have cobblestone to make... Uh... What's the word? Furnaces? And then I've got um, logs to turn them into smokers, so we're good there. We're just gonna need a lot of those, like ovens and smokers and stuff. Two big potato baked breads. Do I even have any potatoes at all? That would be negatory. Okay, organics. Do I have potatoes? Certainly not. I don't own a potato at all. That's weird. Well, it's kind of, kind of hard to get baked potatoes without a potato anywhere. How did that happen? Whoa, one song from a Goofy movie? Good luck. Bang, head, here. I have no clue, Mama Bear. At least a stack, but yeah. Okay, do we still have inspectors outside? We do. Down to the pork district. Okay, and I need cows. Do I have any cows showing up? 
Not at the moment. Domestic ones, sure. Okay, fine. Let's go breed cows. I know I'm kind of all over the board today. Farm products would be where I'd find the things I need for cows. Silly me. I know I don't need that many cows. Let's... Um... And I have regular carrots, which I need to get pigs. Go this way. Hello. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I have carrots. All right, I guess I need to clean that out. And I said I was going to take the yurts down because these are not, they're supposed to be moved, not uh, replicated. is beds. Hello, fly. Thank you. Anybody seen a goofy movie? Or should we just switch that one? One of these. It's for fun. Do -do -do. We need cows. We need four. I know one, two, three, four, five, seven. All right. You guys can grow. I'll come back for you later. I don't even know what a meeple is. Did I spell that wrong? Oh. Alright. Um Piggy. Fine. If that's the case, we shall go get piggies elsewhere. Hello. Hello? Thank you. Let's see, do we have any other piggies while we're here? Yes. We can take these two as well. Come on, Biggie. Let's go. You coming? Didn't get the egg. Interesting. This way. Hello, one piggy wiggy. Piggly wiggly. And then go this way. Hello, two piggly wigglies. Here we go. Hmm. Meeples are probably like mini people. Coming? I see any more? I do, but I'm not really sure I will care. I can just breed these ones up if I can get over there before the inspectors decide they want to like take me apart. Maybe, maybe that particular food establishment has no license. Maybe that's the issue. You know, taxes and all. You didn't pay for the frontage on your street. You only paid it for five blocks, and you're and you're building a six blocks wide. There you go.
I wonder if meeples are like the little people pegs that you'd see in um, a Game of Life, for example. They had a bunch of like, weird little people things you put in a car. Things like when you picked up a spouse, um, then you'd end up putting a spouse in your car and you could put up to like, there's like two or three kids in your car and plenty of weird things like that. Where is... Workshop, second from the end, okay. Come on, guys. This is like the one and only time we're going through the house. When you come back through the house, you may not have your head. Come on. Can you guys not come in the house? Hello? Hey. Porky, come here. was less than optimal. Come on, guys. All right, let's go this way. No, no, no. You can come back. You can come back over here right now. Thank you. I'm going this way. Just for now, lock the door. Oops. Let's follow this one. Yeah, yeah. Delenn, use your brain. Go back out there. No. Hey. One at a time, you can not go through there. I have one. And then there was one. Two. Pig. Where did you... You have a death wish? Come on. Well, I suppose you do, but... I don't, so you can keep me away from the inspectors, alright? Pig. Wilbur, hey! Thank you. Right. Thank you, babe. Right. We're we're got pigs. Here. Pig, pig. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Mama Bear. That would be very, very helpful. I suppose we might need more space, but we'll get there. Alright, so we've got pigs. Do I have any free-range cows? I do not. On the way by. Hey, you. Here. Good pigs come in fours, maybe? They really liked just hanging out at Yellow's place. That was weird. There we go. Right. Um cows. Little one. Two little ones. Hello. Another one. Have a breeding pair, please. Not everybody, just one. As the other cow like walks away. Fine, if we get extras, we get extras. Huzzah. Take all of you guys. Hey, go. Jersey, come here. Hello. 
Hello? We will build you a pen as we get there, because it just occurred to me I did not build one. I'm putting cows in a pen that doesn't exist. So that'll be fun. Order of operations fail on my part. One, two, three, four. nearby just in case. Come on. Ah, not that one. Let's go this, read up you two. All right, we're trapped. We'll, we'll sort that part later. Animals acquired, since we're not going to be doing sheep for that one. And yes, mutton was intentionally absent from the list. Right. What else have we got? 20 minutes. Let's do a little bit of cleanup. Um, I know we can come back here. I just need to pause my brain for a second or two. So we're going to tear down this one and tear down that one. So, yurt destruction, which means I should put stuff away, right? Just empty space. One. This should have been what I had earlier. I need doors, and I need... Not ready for signs, but I need a bunch of these. Um... Oh, empty shulker box. Nice. Can go up there. I know I have too much wheat, so let's make that out of the way. There. There's a box, sure. All right. Spruce, you're out of the way. And bricks. All right, so I'm going to go destroy stuff while I think, and uh, see what we can do for getting things in. Oh, haha. Uh -huh. I forgot. I took out the toolbox. I need the shears. Just to make things go a little faster. Alright, uh, since we don't know what meeples are, we're going to swap that one. Four actors who appeared on Friends. Oh. <laughs> wow. They're really not asking questions I know much about this time, are they? Well, yes, he did explain meeples. I just don't know what games they'd be in. And we've had it up for longer than five minutes anyways. 
the Zerk knows what meeples are. I will promptly be looking it up just because now that question's bugging me. But I have not watched Friends. Matthew Perry was on Friends, as was Jennifer Aniston. Okay. I can see faces as soon as you say that. Okay. Half the time, I, I mean, I get that, like, half the time I could not um, name characters for a show. things problems with being visual and not knowing names I mean as you can probably imagine I'm also one who navigates visually as well so weirdly this whole medieval concept of um, so clearly I am not illiterate as you can tell but um, this medieval concept of people back in the time being illiterate and not being able to read signs with words on them works for me <laughs> works for me because being a visual person in that respect, um, if you were to go to, say, the Nightmare Cat Inn, I could probably tell you where that is, aside from not having a cat head market at the moment, but I could probably tell you where that is, or I could tell you, you know, turn left at the whatever, uh, I could find you the hogshead, I could find you all kinds of things, but knowing street names, the only reason I knew Cook Street in this town, I mean, the other ones haven't been named yet, but part of the reason I would know it is because I visually know what's on the set street. Lisa Kudrow, which one was that? Is that Phoebe, I think? Anyway. Okay. What's well, funny, uh, Fantastic Truck Fox and I were watching a really short short the other day about a completely different actress. And initially neither of us recognized the name, but then it, it was showing this person's little child, um, like toddler, I guess, grooving to the to the opening strains of the um, uh, Big Bang Theory music. And like just sort of she goes, Oh, I don't know who that person plays. And, and then took, hit me and I was like, oh, wait a minute, no, no, they play, you know, it was Penny's kid, actually, like the actress who plays Penny. And normally I can't think of that sort of stuff to save myself. Just about everybody, it's like Penny and Sheldon, and that's as far as I get. But when somebody says one of the other character names, I know who they're talking about. See, I... One of the things I share in common with the Sherlock Holmes character is I have an absolutely huge knowledge of useless garbage, but none of it is contiguous enough to be to be helpful. But hey, somehow sometimes people want to hear it. It's like small talk, right? It's all small talk. I mean, being able to rattle off the major major people on, say, uh, Mythbusters was not, it's not one of those things people are normally ever going to ask you. you no. Know? They might ask you your driver's license number. I mean, not in public conversation, but I mean, it's something you could use for a file or, oh, what well, good to know. Um, something you might use for an application, you know, that sort of stuff, but it's something useful, whereas people are just not going to ask you. Um, after Bob Barker, who was the host of the show, The Price is Right, like it's not one of those things anybody's really ever going to need to know. Oh well. And just because I happen to know that one doesn't necessarily mean I know a whole lot. I still say I'm like Manuel from Faulty Towers.
I also realized just now that I can, um, oh, yeah, uh -huh. I guess I should put that on Gary's house. Um, that I can, uh, get rid of this dirt once, once I've got all of the roof down, all of the yurts down. Oops. See, it's not an authentic, it's not an authentic yours truly yurt because I did it wrong. There is not enough um, carpet in any of it, and I did not hide the torch. Uh, I did not carpet the top. So, yeah, see? I shouldn't actually even say that other yurt was by yours, yours truly because I did it wrong. That's okay. By tearing this one down, I now have the supplies to finish off the other one correctly. So, I guess bonus, maybe? Alright. Dang, knock off yurts. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. I'll go with the, uh... Cheap, the cheap foreign imitation. But it's still, you can buy it on Amazon. We're not we're not going quite as far as a Timu yurt. Ooh. Not sure whether I'd be insulted by a Timu yurt. Okay, so first off, take this out of the floor. They dug one down, didn't they? I don't think I need to. There we go. I don't need that, but I like it, so I'm gonna leave it. But yes, it's extra lighting. I don't need, but I um I feel better that I made the yurt the way it was supposed to be, kinda sorta. should run out of wool when I'm done here, right? Is that how that works? 13 minutes to everybody. I mean, I did see that before, but... Um... Okay, I guess I didn't. Oh, right. I have nine left because they would have been on the floor on the inside, but I did do that part. Okay, we're good. Makes sense. All right, close enough. That's better. And then I can go off to Gary's and put the lightning rod on the roof. Even though it's going to float funny. They always do. The middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right there. Sure. Okay. 13 minutes, huh? Hmm. Well, in 13 minutes, maybe I can fix the cow pen and put up a bunch of... Oops. I just need doors. Doors would be helpful. Doors are useful. There we go. Nine, and I need more than that. Hmm. Fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Because technically I've got 11 over here. Um, this one... Oh, shoot. Go with what's faster. Dirt? White wool? White wool. How do I have extra? 
Oh, 64. Never mind, can't count. Um, we go with those? Sure, let's see what it does. This one, because I want to put that there. suppose I could leave them there. They just look kind of dumb being all in yellow. If we could actually get um, bamboo in more of a tan color, that'd be great, but not happening. Oops. That's why I didn't want it down there. So you could leave it like that, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's go. Oh, door. never done before I'm just gonna leave it because I can see what it looks like once we got the whole place done okay. and there one two three four so basically the long story short being is the proprietors wanted to maximize the amount of selling surface so they are using their window shutters to do so. Um, but needs to say, because we don't have door frames, and it looks really dumb being completely open. So, yeah. That's, that's a load. So when the shop's open, the windows are open, and when it's closed, the windows are closed. Weird. Very, very weird. More. Gonna need more trapdoors, right? Yes. Certainly. Oh. Is that wrong? So do these ones. Man, sure. Eight letter word, ten lives to guess. There is no A. There are E's, which I believe is the most common vowel in the English alphabet. door. I'm gonna go with an L probably, my suggestion. They come up in chat and it's like, okay. There we are. Door there. Door there. That one needs stairs. Door there. Unless I bring it down. We'll figure that part out later. Okay. Homeless. Wow. Boxes. Good with these hang hangman words. Okay, so it's daytime, everybody's open for business-ish. I mean obviously we don't have anybody in there selling anything yet, but we're gonna get there. 
Oh, that's good. I don't think I need these. Uh, where is the two? This one. Okay, cows, stay far away, please. Shops are getting there. This one needs the back fixed entirely because it needs to be all fences to keep the cattle in. I don't like the garden wall thing, but um, yeah, we're getting there. Need to fix the pigs as well because they, they have blocks in the door. This one, let's take at the bottom. So the cattle won't jump that one. We're good there. If I take out all of this, then they can't jump the back. One more back. Oops, I can do that. Um, this one. It's becoming something. I'm not sure what the something is, but it's becoming something. Said earlier, you wing it, right? Ah, no, that's exactly what I did not want to have happen. You may become a steak, young sir. Not a missed steak, just a steak, because I did not bring the proper things. Hmm. <clears throat> Offensive. <clears throat> Offensive version? Yes. You think you want to get back there? Well, go. Go then. Hmm. Do your thing. Go. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. There we go. All right, clean up from the inside. We're getting there. Oh, fooey. Yeah, there we go. Hey, you. I got a cow loose. I mean, I have a screw loose too, but somehow I got a cow loose. Fine, you guys are gonna be double high just because you're a pain in the neck. It looks like it actually might have been the little one. One of the two little ones. One, two, three, four. No! That's a spare cow. A spawned spare cow. I think. One, two, three. Nope, it's not. Hey, 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 hey. Well. Okay, fine. Ow? That's fine, I'm out. Let's get these out of my hand. Let's put some wheat in the hand. Let's see what we get. Rogue cow! <laughs> You know, <laughs> while I'm here, I probably should grab the carrots just in case. Okay, so let's put 
those in the other hand so that I can grab the cow. Hey, you. I was pretty sure I'd only brought four over, but now I have a fifth one who may have just spawned outside the pen. But if that's the case, that's fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come on, cow. Come on, all of you. Oh, hi. Go away. Go away. Less likely to see them sticking their heads through there when the door's up by one. All right. Rogue cow. So we've met the top of the hour. Fantastic Sherlock Fox, or any of the mods, can you confirm um, whether or not our targets are live? That makes no sense to anybody, but that's okay. Because it is the top of the hour, we have a rogue cow. We are making progress. Perfect, excellent, thank you Scrub Lord, that is fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand over in the middle of the street, take a look down the street, and that's where we're going to log out today. So we've, we've good, got some good work done on the street, a little bit of cleanup, and um, we're, we're making progress. So next one up is to start working with labeling them, putting those food wares out, putting out signs. Um, it'll be interesting to see how to do the signs, because if people are illiterate, then I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that, so we'll have to figure that one out. In any case, I want to say thank you very much to everybody that came by. An extra special thank you to Fantastic, or to, not Fantastic, to the always amazing Lord Snarl for bringing his crew in. I really do appreciate that. Also, thank you very much to Max for bringing your cra crazy and wild and awesome crew in, too. Um, thank you to everybody who was here, to those who cheered the bits, to, to those who hung out and lurked, to those who chatted. It's been great. So... This is my Thursday. I will not see you again till next Monday. So I want to wish everybody a fantastic weekend. And I will see you in Poodle's stream. So let's get that raid started. Maybe. There we go. Magic button time. Mischief managed. Mischief managed. So Poodle's the first tier, and we are going to go and raid the Poodle. Uh... Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you very much, Gary, for the resub. I really appreciate that. And thank you again, Maths, for the cheer. Also, thanks, as I said earlier, to Lord Snarl and Max Money for the raids. Very much appreciated. Thank you to Poodle for spending their, their clues. And to our moderation team there, including Fantastic Sherlock Fox, Scrub Lord, Neon Traveler, and Zerk today. Also, thank you very much to everybody who kept us going with the chat, including Poodle Pirate, Gary, Mama Bear, Lord Snarl, Mathis, Max Money, Emperor Waldensbury the Second, what a mouthful, and B Silver B, Jen, DJ GQ UK, Silver Unicorn, Tim Dog, and Porkchop Wally. If I'd miss saying your name and you're just hanging out, you're always welcome to drop by. This is a great place for work lurk. And in the meantime, have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you on the other side. Bye bye for now.